that's the tightest packed, best looking that I've ever had that trailer loaded. Because I normally have to do it with a forklift, which means you can't spin stuff around, so the taper's getting you. And so well, let's see if I can get this thing out of here. I'll probably be stuck right in front of you. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, knuckle boom for the win. Tires aren't. This clay is like grease. Hope you're having fun watching the uh, certified hoarder show. My glutton for punishment nature to just, you know, I could sit around and collect welfare and make more than this, but that'd be a boring life. YouTube and Facebook just don't fulfill me, so. So I got the tractor skitter truck thing. Winch on the back, no batteries, gas can. Winch on the back. The chain is only here because I thought I had a shackle in the truck. I'm, I'm only using the chain for that little loop. And I'm by myself, I can't pull the whole thing. So, so really we're gonna pull with the winch. The chain is just a loop. So, jump in here, take our no control. trailer tires went off the pavement they went to the ditch my inside trailer tires and I saw the load tipping and I thought oh my god it might go over I mean you know there's nothing I could do I was I was on the brake and I was scooched over but I thought it might go over if you know with the ditch being as soggy as it is but those inside two tires stayed on the pavement and that's what kept that trailer up so uh, if it was a dual tandem I probably would have put both tires in the ditch and it could have rolled it over. Which, you know, I got a dual tandem tag, and it's a great trailer, Interstate Interstate 18 DT. But this one, you can you can put one in the, off the road and still have two tires on the road. Two tires will go in the ditch and two will stay on the road. It's, it's really, 
that's the only time where I think, oh my God, thank goodness I'm pulling this trailer. So, food for thought. Twice the maintenance, twice the springs. It's twice the aggravation, lots of U-bolts. Lots of backing plates, but hey, it probably just paid for itself right there by not scattering this load into the ditch. Praise the Lord. So I got unloaded. I had 17 logs, nothing rejected, nothing knocked down or trimmed back. She marked a right over that, but it was a thousand and one board feet, 487.30 for that load. So 487.30 right there. And because I was over a thousand board feet, they tack on the $25 per thousand haul bill. Anyhow, if you're some guy with a lawnmower pulling logs out of the woods or a bobcat or just some little machine, a truck like me, just keep at it, because I started with a lawnmower, all right? I started with a lawnmower. Just keep at it. You can move up. I'm not saying you're going to make money. Don't do this if you ain't doing it because you love it. Do it because you love it. Don't do it because you're going to make money. If you want to make money, do ponds, do septic tanks, do gravel pads, you know, do driveways, do uh, do house pads, do foundations. That, 100 bucks an hour. Land clearing, 125 150 an hour. Don't, don't log, because... You ain't gonna make crap for money, but it's a, if that's the lifestyle that you like, don't give up hope. Praise the Lord and God bless.